So it's deep, it's cold, and it's dark. And animals have special adaptations to survive in this environment. One of the first adaptations that animals have down here is their color. A lot of the animals are red. Now, red, it doesn't seem like a very likely color because it's so bright to us up on the surface. But when you're down here in the deep sea, red is just like black because red gets absorbed very high up in the water column as light's penetrating through. To help us show that down here, red is the new black, Carl turned off the lights to his sub. Another adaptation many animals have in the deep sea is the ability to bioluminesce. This emission of light is thought to be found in about 90% of deep sea organisms. Now as we travel deeper, we started to see more plankton and more jellyfish. We're in the layer called the deep scattering layer. It's called that because of the way it scatters back sonar. What it is is small fish, uh, we're seeing squid, um, I'm seeing little decapods swimming by, and they're actually bouncing back the sonar back to the surface. So the deep scattering layer represents daily migrations of deep sea organisms from their resting place in the day on the deep dark edge of the mesopelagic layer to where they feed at the surface at night. But since Carl's sub won't dive much deeper, we'll stop here and explore the bottom where organisms survive by feeding on organic matter from above. There we oh, go. Look at, oh, oh, he's got really long legs. Down here, every organism we see might be new to science. To learn more about the deep sea, go to untamescience.com. Until next time, never stop exploring your world.